what's wrong? Huh? Are you...? Hello. I do apologize for the sudden intrusion. We found this guy in the street, but he doesn't seem to remember anything. <laughs> so, yeah, quite an eventful walk. Yeah, how a coincidence. You say that you are trekking across to that to train yourself. Hmm. Many other Inazumans who describe themselves in this way call themselves Shugenja. Why do you refer to yourself as a wanderer? Well, it seems more relevant in my case. To me, it sounds like a plant with no roots. But these two claim that they know me, and that I have a hidden past unknown even to myself. I wouldn't call it the past, but rather... Uh, this is a difficult one to explain. I don't like to rely on using terms like this often, but in your case, it seems that it ought to be called a previous incarnation. Oh, like a past life or something? Yes, something far more distant than the past. So far away that you cannot perceive it. Okay, I have to ask. What was I like in my previous incarnation? Okay, now that I think about it, we, Shino doesn't have no more the girls against the body when, you know, when he struck lightning on Tainai, because he doesn't exist for that moment anymore. But again, I'm really not, I'm not a fan of this. And I feel this is gonna be a red flag for the rest of the Halbert Gen. Um... Uh... Oh, okay. I see. You want to tell me, but you can't bring yourselves to say it. Looks like I didn't have the most wonderful existence in my previous incarnation. If it's that difficult to talk about, I have no doubt it will be just as difficult to hear. But I'll be able to handle it. Please, tell me the truth. Is truth something you care a lot about? Yes. Then I'll be straight with you. In your previous incarnation, you did many things that would be considered evil. You nearly died because of what other people did. And many died because of you. As a non-human being, you hated gods and humans alike. You drifted from place to place, never able to settle, even where you found status and identity. You adamantly believed that you were missing a heart. <sighs> Actions rooted in persistence sometimes bear bitter fruit. Sometimes, you have to let parts of yourself go. Or you'll never be happy. I gave everything I had. But it barely changed history at all. In terms of the outcome alone, that's true. Hmm. I don't think I can judge everything I've heard purely in terms of right and wrong. Wait a minute. Now something came up. If he doesn't, if Sky no more exists, that means the fake, the sky is fake, is no more available. Because, wait a minute, this is kind of a plot hole. Because I'm not so sure if Dotoy discovered that in another way and not by Sky. But if Sky doesn't discover the sky is fake, or maybe Dotoy was there and not him, then how do Dotoy do the exchange with Nahida for that information? However, you're making your own plot holes. Each choice a person makes belongs to a specific place and time. A chain of cause and effect. A cycle of karma and consequence. That is the nature of truth. If one thing is right, its opposite must be wrong. And yet, dichotomies like this are not enough to explain the world in all of its complexity. It seems like my previous incarnation wasn't the most likable individual. No, it wasn't. <laughs> We're not trying to hurt 
hurt your feelings or anything, but... Yeah, we weren't your biggest fans. If we were enemies, why are you trying to help me find the truth? Uh, this is so frustrating! This guy's supposed to be our arch enemy, but now he's just some random stranger we met on the street! He's got so much to answer for, but we can't make him talk because he doesn't remember anything! Uh, what a weird situation! Blenda Soy! Mr. Lord Kusanali. As the God of Wisdom, I trust that everything you told me must be true. Yes, it's all true. I can even show you the memories themselves, if you're willing. Please, I want to see them for myself. I want to experience my own transgressions. Even though it will cause your present self great mental anguish? Oh, I'm just a puppet. With no heart and no name. There is nothing in this world for me to cling to. To fill the void within me. Except maybe these sins that can never be undone. Very well. As you wish. Wait, shouldn't we go with him? This one's kind of on us for bringing him here. Don't worry. Whatever danger I might face, it's my burden to bear. Traveler, could I ask you to supervise him on my behalf? Oh, good point. Given your, um, unique situation, we'd better keep an eye on you. Understood. <sighs> Thank you. Now, prepare yourselves, everyone. This looks like Inazuma. Right now, you're in a dream I created using information extracted from your memories. These memories will show you the raw truth, but be aware that enemies may react just like in the real world. Please be careful. Sounds like an immersive experience. It's a good thing we came along. You don't need to do this for me. I don't deserve your protection. We never give up halfway. Well, we had to once, but that was your doing. All right. Thanks. Wanderer, this is the Shake Pavilion. In your Baladir incarnation, this is where the Electro Archon placed you after your creation. You had a great many memories here. Is that because this is kind of like... His birthplace? You could say that, in a sense. You'll see why shortly. I hear footsteps. This place is huge! I can't believe the landslide didn't fill it in. I wonder who built it? The Crystal Marrow Miners? No, there's no way. Look at this exquisite construction work, and so well preserved, too! No mining crew would be capable of this. Hmm? There's someone passed out on the ground. <sighs> Who are you? Y you're awake! What happened? How'd you get stuck here? A are you injured? Uh-huh. Not a scratch. And these fine clothes. Who are you? This man is Katsuragi. Deputy to Torichiyo's adopted son, Bikoshi Nagamasa. He found the Baladir in Shake Pavilion, and took him back to Tatarasuna. And the rest is history. Well, it used to be. In the original version of events, Katsuragi was ultimately killed by Nagamasa. Let me get you out of here. Our people are nearby. H hang in there. During the Tatarasuna incident, Niwa was murdered by the doctor, disguised as a mechanic. The Baladir, then known as the Kabukimono, disappeared not long after. As the second-in-command at Tatarasuna, responsibility for what had happened fell to Mikoshi Nagamasa. But Katsuragi had sworn lifelong loyalty to Nagamasa after the latter had once saved his life. At Katsuragi's insistence, Nagamasa killed him to put an end to the Tatarasuna incident. 
<sighs> Katsuragi seems like he was a good guy. He looks like a warrior, but he has a kind face. Why couldn't he live a long and happy life? Nagamasa, I found this young guy in a cave sealed off by a landslide. He doesn't remember his name. Well, we need to call you something. I hear the workers are calling you the Kabuki Mono. <sighs> That's fine with me. Katsuragi, report to Niwa. Tell him we have someone new joining us. I was abandoned, like you. I lived here for a while at first, but there's nothing for us here. We can't stay. Okay. I heard my mom and dad used to make swords, but the factory manager died, and then my dad got sick. <coughs> he kept coughing all the time, just like me. Then Mom started coughing, too. But you can't. You promised me. Yup. We're family now. We're gonna be together forever and ever. This child didn't have a name. Or rather, the balladeer didn't know what to call him. His father died before he could name him. After his mother died, the child stayed in their straw hut alone. Some of the neighbors helped to raise him. After leaving Tatarasuna, the balladeer ran into this child who didn't have a name, just like him. They made a promise to live together. What happened to the child then? He died from his illness while he was still very young. The balladeer came home one day and found that he had stopped breathing. Hey! What's wrong? Say something! You promised me we could be family! You're no different from Niwa and all the others. You betrayed me too. <laughs> the voices have gone. It looks like the memory ends here. Let's keep going.
You do realize you're blocking my path. I come not to obstruct you. I've been waiting. What you are truly is a weapon. One that could be wielded with an iron will. Or you could continue to drift aimlessly. Are you trying to win me over? A long-fated rebellion has begun. Why not take your place at the banquet and join those who shall feast? Oh boy. We now was hoping we're getting something over this. Solidify! This place. this place is dark. Ugh. Paimon knows this place. It's the Delusion Factory in Inazuma. In the original version of events, the Traveler once encountered the Balladeer here. Such a creepy atmosphere. And so familiar. Hey, look over there! Well, well, my fair lady. Is this rundown factory and these incompetent fools all for me? Wow. You shouldn't have. Wait, she actually meet up with Signore here? Wait a minute, so... Again, I know the Harbage are not too keen to work with each other, but... In the same time... Huh. <laughs> What do you have to gain from belittling your subordinates? You might not want to admit it, but you are a part of this plan. Perhaps you find fighting in the Abyss to be a more meaningful use of your time? Oh, but of course, even this pales in comparison to being experimented on by the Doctor. <laughs> what a sharp tongue you have. Funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, I suggest you keep your true feelings to yourself. <laughs> Save your breath. I know what I have to do. Yeah, she already she has this thing on her neck. Like, how do you put it on? Was she a spearman to on? Maybe this is actually her, like, crystal or something. If you play Agna, you may know what I am referring to, but... But I guess we get to see Signor again. I'm sure you think so, but I still think you need to hear it. Don't start thinking you're invincible, and don't let your emotions get in the way. Oh, come on. Now you make this seem like Signor when... Come on. How much rewriting you gonna do to make him the nice guy on this? I know he's the bad guy in this version, but you make... Sounds so like he cared about you know maybe one one her about the, the attitude. Come on now. The the list of comments just grow and grow. Surely you're not worried about me. I just can't have you getting in my way. You and child never fail to find ways to complicate things. I'm merely lighting a little fire in this chaotic nation. But you being tossed out like trash must make you want to destroy it completely. Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. I'm sure the descendants of the ride in Gokaden are still suffering the consequences now. Look at you. Oh, don't get so sentimental. Now, give that poor little tongue of yours a rest and stop pretending like you're above everyone else. 
Bye then. See you at the victory feast. Poor little tongue. <laughs> She's playing with fire talking to me like that. Who does she think she is? <sighs> Forget it. Someone might find me here any minute now. I should prepare to give them a warm welcome. <sighs> the plot does not end here. There is more of this story to come. Wanderer. Are you able to continue? Yes. Please don't worry about me. Why are you staring at me in silence? <laughs> Can't you think of a nicer way to express yourself? I'm under no obligation to be nice to you. Besides, I thought nothing mattered to you except results in your own interests. Isn't that right? Which? <laughs> Muddle-headed puppet. You're only number six because you can take more abuse than other humans. Do you really count that as an asset? You're about as much fun to be around as a raging inferno. But before we murder each other, it'd be best if we finish our duties. Can't run from death. 